Hi, I'm Alison Pilling and I'm the host of Death Cafe Quinty. Uh, yesterday on February 21st, we had our February 2024 event and we were hosted at the Smoking 116 Bistro in Belleville. So I just wanna say thank you for having us there and supporting this, this event in our community. Uh, we had a great turnout. It was really nice to be in person. I will say this event felt very special to me. I had a few regular online participants come and join in person for the first time. So I got to meet them in person and I'll just say it was a beautiful experience for me. Uh, I'm just sharing my personal highlights of our event yesterday in case you have any curiosity about whether the Death Cafe is something that you may find supportive in your life or you might be curious in joining us for a future event. We meet the third Wednesday of every month and next month we'll be online. March is online and April we'll be back at the Smoking 116 Bistro. Okay, so a couple of the highlights and again these are my personal takeaways. Um, the one thing what, that we talked about that really stuck with me was allowing space and honoring the sacred connection between the individual who is dying and their higher power, you know, at the time of their death. And, and how can that be respected? What does that look like? Uh, another topic that stuck with me was respecting end of life wishes. So let's say you have done estate planning, you have communicated your end of life care, uh, your health care, or what you would like for your funeral or celebration of life. It's like, how do you even know if that's going to be carried out or respected? And we just had some conversations around that. Um, the Another topic that came up was the way when someone may be close to death, how those conversations are diverted. It's almost like loved ones and close people to the person dying may actually avoid some conversations that would be beneficial to have. And what are people's perspectives on that? Um, and another topic that came up that I wanted to share is with MAID, right? So. When MAID is performed, um, what are the supports in place for the surviving loved ones? Okay, and what are those resources? Do we have them available? Are they communicated after the individual has chosen that procedure and maybe has undergone it, right? Um, what supports in place or what resources, what um, communication is, is given to the surviving loved ones to, you know, help process that experience, right? And help move forward with their lives with honoring their loved one's decision. Again, um, we had a conversation around that as well. And there were a lot of other topics, but those are the four I'm going to leave you with today. And I will like to say, if you'd like to join us, the next one is Wednesday, March 20th from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and it will be online. So just send me a message with your name and your email so you can get the event notifications. Okay, I just want to say thank you. And yeah, it's a pleasure to be hosting Death Cafe Quinty.